Hey everyone, Kwame here. Today I wanted to talk about the Fujifilm XF10 and why I think it's a great alternative to the Fujifilm X100 line. So I've been wanting to do this review of the Fujifilm XF10 for a little while now, but I decided to hold off because I wanted to use it again. I hadn't used it in a while since I got the Ricoh GR3X and I really wanted to just play with it and, you know, form an opinion. And to be honest, I was getting ready to pick up uh, just a regular uh, Ricoh GR3 and this little camera changed my mind and I honestly canceled or stopped any plans of getting a new camera because of how fun this camera is. So like the Ricoh camera, this is a APS-C sensor inside this tiny little camera body. Let's see, this will show up here. So you can see just how small this camera is, right? It's just like the Ricoh line. So tiny little camera uh, fits in your pocket, front pocket, back pocket, jacket pocket. And because it's so small, you can get away with taking this pretty much anywhere. Like there, you know, no one will stop you from taking pictures. It's really unintrusive, which makes it a great everyday carry camera. And for me, like an everyday carry camera just isn't about like specs and everything. It's about, you know, wanting to use it. And this camera really is fun to use. And one of my favorite features of this camera is Fuji's uh, film recipes, they call them. And there are websites uh, that have like other recipes that you can create. So you can, you know, find uh, film recipes from that Fuji has made and like dial in even on this older camera and get some really cool pictures straight out of, you know, straight JPEGs. And that's how I shoot this camera. I just shoot it straight JPEG. I don't, um, I don't shoot raw with this one. It's just JPEGs because they are so fun to use and you can uh, manipulate them a little bit, but you know, it's, it, it, you know, what you see is what you get. There's a great, um, book. I will leave it linked down below from, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Gordon Lang. I've been watching his YouTube channel for well over a decade now. And he has a book about getting it right in camera. And if you, you know, any camera, right, it doesn't have to be the Fuji cameras, but any camera, if you dial it in just right, you can get really good JPEG straight out of camera. And with these, with this Fuji camera in particular, I have found that to be the case. Like the image quality of this camera has been, you know, second to none. Yes, there are some things that I wish it had, and we can talk about that later on. But, you know, this is a really great camera. And you know, right now with the availability of the X100 and, you know, not being able to get them or, you know, they're being really expensive, this is a great alternative. And I've said before, just because something's old doesn't mean that it's bad, right? This little camera, when it came out, was really good. And it is still really good. You, you know, it has a full 24 megapixel APS-C sensor in here. So you're going to get great uh, quality images. You can print them really big. You can crop them down. You can do a lot of work with a 24 megapixel image. And if you shoot raw, if you know, if you want, want to shoot raw, you can really get some detail out of this uh, little camera. And again, the size is what's really cool. Now there's other things I really like about it. Like it's very, um, I, I like to say finicky, right? It, you have this ring that you can move around up here. You have all these dials and buttons up here that are, are fun to use. You have a few uh, dials in the back. One of my favorite feature is the joystick here. So you can manipulate things uh, with the joystick, but it's also a touch button, a touch screen. The way that I have mine set up right now is if I press the screen, it will just take a picture or you can do touch to focus. There's other things you can do with that. There are so many, again, so many different features and so many different ways you can set up this camera that you can really make it your own. And when I, you know, I'm thinking about everyday carry cameras or just cameras that are, are, you know, I don't want to say inspire you to take pictures, but are a joy to take pictures with. That's something that is important to me. Like make, how to make this your own camera, how to make it your, your own look and style. And you can do that with any camera, not just Fuji cameras, but the Sony cameras, the Canon, Nikon, whatever it is, you can do that with. This is not a new camera, came out in 2018, uh, but I do wish there was uh, you know, a couple features on here like image stabilization. Even though it's not on there, it, it would be nice to have. However, I have been looking at older uh, pictures from like the Gordon Parks, the Cartier-Bressons, and other like old school photographers who didn't have in-body image stabilization, and they still made 
really amazing pictures and even some of the pictures that were slightly out of focus were still really good so let's not have image stabilization for me at least i'm not going to let image stabilization hold me back from being creative i just got to know when to use this camera this is a great like outdoor uh you know really good uh, light camera however you can you know crank up the iso on here and still get some really good indoor shots Everything that you've seen so far in the video from picture-wise have been uh, straight out of camera JPEGs. Like, there is no raw images that I've, I've been showing. And it's really, again, really, really good image quality. And that's, when it comes to cameras, that's all that matters to me. It's like the image quality and being able to capture memories. And a camera like this, again, this size, you know, easily fits in the pocket, can easily take it everywhere with me. That's what makes a great, a great everyday carry camera. Overall, I really do love this camera. It helps me really just capture everyday life, it helps me capture memories and um, things that, yes, I can use my cell phone for, but this, having this camera has just been a pleasure to use. Uh, being able to get pictures off of here, you can, uh, I think you can wirelessly transfer them over. I just have a little SD card to lightning reader if I want to just hook it up to my phone real quick or just throw them in Lightroom and, and edit them. Not even edit them, just organize them that way. Let me know down in the comments. Is, do you have an everyday carry camera? Would you use an older camera like this as an everyday carry camera? Again, you're not going to lose image quality with this. There are some modern functionalities that would be nice to have, but not major things to have. Uh, but I would love to know what your thoughts are. Thank you as always for watching this video. I will see you next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.